Hey, buddy. Why don't you go do me a favor and, uh, fuck off? Why? You're clearly making this lovely lady uncomfortable. So, why don't you get out of here? Go bother someone else. <laughs> what am I gonna do about it? How about I bust your face in? How about that? <laughs> you really are pathetic. Aww. Too chicken shit to fight me? That's what I thought. Fuck. Off. <laughs> hey, are, are you okay? Yeah? That's good. That douche wasn't leaving you alone, so I, I thought I'd step in. <laughs> it's really no problem. Us girls gotta stick together, you know? Yeah. Men like him think they're entitled to a woman's attention. Please. If he even tries to come near you again, I'll make sure he regrets it. Do you mind if I sit here? <laughs> Thank you. What's your name, beautiful? My, my. What a pretty name for such a pretty girl. It's a pleasure to meet you. Why don't I buy you a drink? Help you get your mind off him and put a smile back on your face. Yes, I'm sure. Go ahead. Or anything you'd like. I'll pay for it. Uh, just a water for me, please. Thanks. Hmm? Do I come here often? That's one cliche question. <laughs> but, yeah, I do. I don't really like coming out to bars like this. It's full of drunken fools and men like that. But, a lot of my clients like to hang around here, so they usually ask me to meet them here to discuss business. Yes, business. I run my own company. Empire, if I dare to say. <laughs> yeah. I've only been running it for a few years now, but it's going incredibly well. What do we do? Um, we're a freelance studio at the moment. I was just meeting with a client about his photography project. Yeah, it's nice. I get to do a job I love and get to be paid pretty well for it. But enough about me, Dollface. Let's talk about you. I've seen you around this place before, but I was either too busy or too shy to come up and talk to you. Yeah, you seem like a cool girl and I wanted to get to know you better. <laughs> you too? Isn't that sweet? My, that's a gorgeous necklace you have on. May I? Wow, it's so beautiful. Where'd you get it? It was a gift. From your friend traveling abroad? That's so cool. It looks one of a kind. Just like you. <laughs> Aw, did I make you blush? Isn't that sweet? <laughs> really? He made you do all that? Shit, your boss sounds like such an ass. Need me to talk to him for you? <laughs> I'm only joking, I'm only joking. Mostly. Ah, hey! <laughs> hey, I hope you don't mind me asking, but... Are you single? 
I know, kind of a random question to ask, but I just wanted to know. Are you seeing anyone? No? That's good. Great, actually. Why is that? Well, the past few hours I've spent with you have been amazing. I've never met a girl quite like you. You're adorable, funny, and nothing but kind-hearted and beautiful. So, I wanted to ask you if you... Oh, my phone. Um, please excuse me, I'll be right back. Hey, Ethan. What's up? I have some news. Well, make it quick. I have something I'm taking care of right now. You have news about Misty? What about her? I thought she was leaving for Chicago tomorrow night. What? She did what? That little... I'm not going to start screaming in a bar, so why don't you meet me at the joint on 5th Avenue? We'll discuss what to do about it then. Okay. Text me when you get here. Bye. Hey. I'm back. Who called me? Oh, don't worry about it, doll. It's nothing. Was it my boyfriend? <laughs> no. I'm not into men. Besides, my friend Ethan already has a special someone. His boyfriend Alex. <laughs> Don't apologize. You didn't know. Besides, if I had a boyfriend, why would I ask if you're single? <laughs> but, back to that. Now, I was meaning to ask you, would you, I don't know, maybe want to- mm -hmm. Oh, my rights here. I'm sorry, I, I gotta go. But, before I leave, would you mind if I maybe got your number? I loved spending time with you tonight, and I'd like to chat with you more. Maybe I can even take you out on a date. Someplace real nice. How about that nice restaurant on the edge of the city? If you're open to the whole going on a date thing, that is, I didn't really ask if you were into girls. You are? And you'd like that. Oh, well, that's wonderful. Let's say I pick you up tomorrow night? Seven o'clock? Awesome. <laughs> oh, thanks for your number, doll. I'll text you the details. See you tomorrow night. <sighs> Alex, Ethan. It's good to see you too. How was your date? <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed it. I told you, best Italian food in the city. Now, about this whole misty situation. How did you acquire this information? You found files on her computer? With other crime lords, huh? Who the hell does she think she is? Trying to sell my information and plans to other people. <sighs> no, no. We won't kill her. I have a better idea. You boys don't have plans tomorrow afternoon, do you? Great. Now listen to me carefully. Alex, I'm going to need you to text her. 
Here. Her number is in my phone. Tell her to meet us near that alley near Market Street. Ethan, you're gonna ready the car to bring her to my home. If she resists, you know what to do. <laughs> She'll suffer the consequences for her actions. You don't fuck with me. I want to make this whole thing quick, understand? I've got plans for tomorrow night. Alright, come on. Let's get out of here. <laughs> well, well, well. Look who I have here. Finally back in my grasp. Did you honestly think you could get away? Hm? Thought you could leave for Chicago and escape me? <laughs> you thought you could make a quick buck, ruin my business, and get away? Hm? I don't fucking think so. You don't mess with one of the most powerful crime lords in the city and think you could get off scot-free. Hmm. Make sure her ropes are nice and tight, boys. I don't want her going anywhere. And that gag? <laughs> Perfect. Can't hear a word. No one's gonna hear your screams for help. You're all mine now. <laughs> Aw, listen to her try and beg, boys. She knows how fucked she is. Get her on her knees. Now. <laughs> I like this. Stooping down to your level. Holding your chin like this. Because this is where you belong. On your knees, beneath me. Like the lying, deceiving bitch that you are- Are. Wait. That necklace. I've seen it before. Wait a minute. You're- You're the girl from the bar. Shit! Boys? What the fuck is she doing here? I told you to bring Misty over here, you brainless idiots. Wrong contact. Wrong contact? You motherfuck. I'm calm. I'm calm. You idiots kidnapped an innocent girl. Do you realize how fucked we are? This whole fucking situation could ruin my business. Do you honestly want that to fucking happen? You're damn well gonna fucking fix it. Not in that way! We're not killing anybody! Put your fucking gun away! <sighs> Idiots. Listen to me very carefully. I'm gonna take care of the girl. Alex, you ready my car. I'll deliver her home myself. When you're done, you're going to join Ethan into bringing me the right girl. Got it? Go. Well, there goes that date. Hey, hey, listen. Can you hear me? Shake your head if you can hear me. Yeah? Good, good. Listen, I need you to breathe in and out. Just take deep breaths over and over again. Good. Good, see? It's okay. It's okay. I'm not gonna hurt you. No, 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 no. Calm down. Calm down. It's okay. I promise you, I won't hurt you. You're not the one I'm after. I mean, well, 
You are, but not in this way. My men just brought me the wrong person. It's a very complicated accident. Okay, just, just hold still. Let me take that pillowcase off your head. There we go. Um, hi again. <laughs> this is no time for fucking jokes. <sighs> Let's get that gag out of your mouth, shall we? There we go. Alright, go ahead. Scream at me, threaten to call the police. Lay it all on me. I deserve it. Yes. I'm the girl from the bar. The one who told that creep to fuck off, and the one that asked you out on a date. Not that you'd want to go out with me after this. <sighs> Why were you brought here? Well, my men made a very stupid mistake. They kidnapped you instead of a old employee of mine who betrayed me. Hmm? Was this what I was planning for our date? <laughs> no, of course not. I would never. <laughs> nice joke, though. Um, yeah. This is my actual business. I'm a mafia boss. The whole thing was supposed to be a secret, but I guess the cat's out of the bag. No, I can't really tell people that I'm a mafia boss. It honestly scares them away or leads them right to the police and I'll have to move out of town again. Yeah, it's tough, but I chose this job. Okay, now that you know who I really am, I need you to listen to me. If I let you go, you can't tell anyone about this, okay? I'm not joking. You can't tell anyone. My business would be ruined and I'd rot in a jail cell forever. And if you refuse, <clears throat> I have other ideas on what I could do with you. Like kissing you? I... why I... um... <laughs> so? Do you agree with these terms? On one condition. Which is what? Is it money? Of course it's fucking money. Here, let me just go get my... What? You don't want money. Then what do you want? That date? Wait, hold on. You still want to go on a date with me? Why? You're not scared or angry at me for kidnapping you? It was just business. <laughs> wow. Alright then. Your silence in exchange for your freedom and a nice date. Here, turn around. Let me untie you. There we are. Here, hold on to me. I'm gonna help you out of the basement. <laughs> no, this isn't some remote shed in the middle of nowhere. This is my home. I prefer to deal with traitors here. For more messier methods, I do have a shed in the town over. Ah, here we are. I hope you like it. Make yourself at home. Let's set you down on the couch. There. 
I'm gonna go get you some painkillers and some water. Ugh. And I'll also grab some bandages for your wrists and ankles. You just relax and rest, okay? Okay. I'll be right back. Alright, here we go. Drink up. Good, good. Now, let me see your wrists. I really do apologize for everything. I never meant for this to happen. I really do like you and... I guess I just ruined everything. Even if it was just business, I... I should have never... No. You don't mind. Why is that? Because you can consider this our first date? <laughs> yeah, sure. You can consider this a date if you want. Minus the whole being taken here against your will thing. <laughs> and there. All wrapped up. Your wrists should heal up all nicely as long as you're careful. Hmm? Oh, why of course. Ask me anything you'd like. Can I hold still for a second? Um, sure. Hey, whoa. You're sitting right on top of me. And you're getting awfully close. What are you... <laughs> well, I guess you're interested in me too? Yeah? <laughs> so, what do I call you now? My girlfriend? Yeah? Alright then, baby. I promise I'll protect you, okay? No one will ever hurt you. And you're safe here. Well then, I guess I am. <laughs> Oh, my car is ready. Do you want me to drop you off back home? No? You just want to cuddle up with me for a little while? <laughs> I love that. 